Ashes of Creation is an upcoming MMORPG with a massive amount of hype behind it, but at the same time, with all that hype, also comes large amounts of hate. People just want a good MMORPG. They want a developer that isn't focused on pay to win and one that listens and reacts to feedback to make the game as enjoyable as possible. Which is exactly what Intrepid Studios is giving us. So why are so many people against it? Is it the pre-order bundles, the length of development, or something else entirely? Well, as any bored content creator would do, I put on my detective socks and headed over to the most wonderful place on earth, Reddit, to find out. And honestly, I underestimated the number of replies I got in the MMORPG subreddit. You post about Ashes of Creation and people love to come out of the woodwork and talk about it. In the case of this subreddit, mostly hate on it. But why? There was a lot of answers with no evidence to back it, which seemed to be people who just wanted to hate on it because they could. Like, oh, the name speaks for itself, or there is no creation but just ashes. Things like that. There are people out there who, reasonably so, can't hate on something that doesn't exist. And the remaining 200-something posts can really be placed into one of four categories. Hype, Monetization, Graphics, or Steven. Ashes of Creation is a game that has a huge following of people, some who wish it to fail, and some who wish it to exceed, while others just don't care. But of those people who dislike the game, say that the community that supports it really overhypes it. People act like it's going to be the greatest MMORPG to ever face the earth, and they are just sick of hearing about it. Some of the expectations for the game are way too high, which is fair in a sense. Anytime something is shoved in someone's face, the person on the receiving end, at this case, the MMORPG subreddit, is going to get frustrated, and not everyone has a body that can handle that much copium thrown at them at any given time. But perhaps it's not not a reason to actually hate something. <laughs> when it comes to monetization, well, it's one of the skepticisms that I can understand the most. Paying for pre-orders which grant you testing, granting access to cosmetics that you can't actually use yet, and as far as you know at the point of the package going live probably haven't even been created yet, it can put a bad taste in people's mouths. But there are also a ton of people who really just don't care. There are over 100,000 Alpha 2 packages sold, which says something about the hype behind Ashes. That doesn't even include the Beta 1 or Beta 2 packages, and there is a very large group of people who want to support Intrepid Studio and buy these packages to either test the game, get cool cosmetics, or just say, hey, I support this. And those 100,000 plus people aren't the ones jumping into the forums or on Reddit complaining about it, because the dislike for something is always going to be louder than the support for something. And something to keep in mind, which isn't an excuse for it, <clears throat> but it gives you a better understanding of what you are getting, Intrepid calls these packages pre-orders. They aren't backer packages, they aren't investments, they are pre-orders for the game when it eventually comes out. For the largest alpha pack, which costs $375, you get 9 months of game time, which is valued at $135, $125 of in-game currency for the shop, which are called Embers, roughly $100 in cosmetic value, which most games are selling skins for $20 plus dollars these days if not a lot more, along with alpha and beta access and name reservation, which is a total of $360 in value, leaving $15 left, which people could say that $15 is the name reservation or beta or alpha access, but ultimately, in today's world, a game costs $70 and has cosmetics going for $60 in some cases, like these Diablo skins. It's really not overpriced, it's just the fact that, well, there is no release date in sight, and it will be years before we can use most of these things. Not only on Reddit, but in my comments section as well, people really hate on the graphics of Ashes of Creation. And this is, in my opinion, one of the most unjustified points of hate we see. They say it looks bland, uninspired from a fantasy standpoint, very generic, and looks like stock assets from the Unreal Store. And maybe these people aren't looking at it like myself and a lot of other followers seeing the monthly showcases and watching the progress made, but Ashes of Creation is still in an early alpha state, and it looks pretty damn good for something that's in alpha. And I imagine that is about to get even even better with the lighting update that's about to happen next week. It could be much worse. It could look something like this.
Stephen Sharif, the creative director behind Ashes of Creation, could be one of the most hated and loved person in the MMORPG space. They hate on his game, they hate on his skills with a fighter, and they hate on his past. But at the same time, the majority seem to love his passion for MMORPGs, they love what he is trying to build, and they love seeing what Intrepid is going to show month after month. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interests. Being a gamer at heart with no prior game dev experience while running a studio that now has almost 200 employees can't be an easy feat. I imagine it sucks ass. And while he isn't the greatest at leading a party of adventurers through an objective without aggroing the entire area, over the last seven years, he has been extremely transparent on what he and Intrepid have been building. We have seen progress as Ashes of Creation has gone from this to this, to what we have now. We have seen the progress of concept art to models on many creatures, races, and buildings in the world of Vera, something that 99% of game developers will never show us at this point in development, and when they don't show us, nobody complains. And while not all will agree, due to this transparent development process Intrepid has built, he has earned my trust among many others. If I'm wrong though, the worst he's gonna cost me is some of my personal time, and he probably helped prevent me from filling my closet with $500 in additional Magic the Gathering cards that I will probably never touch again. He's not trying to make you believe Ashes of Creation is the game for you. He is very open in the fact that this game is going to be catered towards a specific type of player. He's even told people to not buy the pre-order bundles if you aren't going to actually test the game because it's going to be a very rough environment and not a finished project. Not everyone will enjoy Ashes of Creation and that's okay. But at the end of the day, it's the internet, and only time will tell where Ashes of Creation actually ends up. The biggest thing I've learned though from my comment section and those on Reddit is that people have a right to be skeptical. We have been burnt out time and time again when it comes to MMORPGs. Hearing of a classic, no pay to win MMO is something that seems like a pipe dream. Kickstarter MMOs haven't proven themselves, microtransactions are hated no matter what form they come in, and it's either pay to win or FOMO in a lot of games. But it's, as I said, the minority whom are the loudest in this case. The hate seems larger than it is because those who hate on anything are always going to be more vocal about it than those who don't. Ashes of Creation has over 100,000 Alpha 2 participants ready to go. They have more than a million accounts registered on their website, and they have nearly 200 subscribers on YouTube and content creators that have thousands of subscribers following them looking for the latest updates on the game. All of which is very rare for a brand new IP that is at least two to three years out on release. If you look at any new IP, the following initially is pretty small. It's not as massive as what's behind Ashes of Creation. But ultimately, the biggest takeaway is the majority of people don't hate Ashes of Creation. They're just silently waiting to get their hands on it.